what we have here is a birch polypore and I have got a little video on this already um, this I've actually had this polypore since the first, that day I made that first video I collected two of them and um, yeah I was keeping this one for tea but I made the tea out of it like I was saying in that video um, that I uploaded last summer but I didn't actually like the tea so what I'm gonna do with this is turn it into a razor strap and you can actually see where the spores there's like this is the, the section I was saying you can remove and turn into a plaster in the other video this is where the spores will come out of and you can see you know how thick it is there along the edge and um, yeah it's just a case of removing this and then making the area the surface area as flat as can be and um, in order to put a good shape to whatever blade it is you're using on it a chisel or an axe or a knife I probably should have done this in the beginning um, but yeah as I said I was just keeping it for t to try it as a tea and, and I have got another one that I used um, but just for the purpose of this video I'll show you how I made the other one it's actually really tough this stuff really tough edge of it broke off there but yeah it's just a case of removing all the hard material from it um, getting it somewhat level but this is um, as I was saying in the other video as well I'll probably link it in the description uh, it's known as the razor strop it's really smooth really smooth apart from where my son went at it with his swiss army knife the other week It won't take much to clean this up. Um, I'm going to try and make this video as quick as I can. Try to get it even enough to work with. Clean up some of the edges. Like little slices of coconut, dried coconut. Like, I could take these and put them into a tea if I wanted to. But uh, yeah, I'm not too fond of the taste of it. It's alright. I've had worse, I've had better, and that's why I'm, I'm not pushed on it. Yeah. 
come off this corner. And it works really well. Um, yeah, it works really well with sharpening knives. I mean, just cutting through that, you can see the edge of this knife. You know, it just cleans it up. Uh, like I have two two other straps now that I have for the chisels for the carvings, but. I don't know, I might give this one away. Yeah, I'll probably give this away. Uh, let's see. Look, it's not exactly even. By any means. As you can see here. Percent. Now, the easy part, the easy part. Sander. It's got like a medium grit on it. So, could take like two minutes to do this. Could take five minutes. Either way, I'll, I'll speed it up for this. little divot in there um it's annoying that's annoying Find dust of it. I probably should have had the Hoover running at the same time. out the, the little dink in it.
So that's all there is to it now. Then you just like so. It is a really soft material, like you can see, like the little dents that I just put in there. You wouldn't want to attack that. Um, yeah, it's just too soft for that. Dust off it. It's just so fine. I'm not going to go into it too much because as far as I can remember it, um, the last video I done, I put loads of information in on it. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this and how I've done it. Now, you can see the amount of material I took off this one compared to this. It's a lot thicker. But they will last a long time. A um, long time. I'll give that one away to someone. Um, keeping this one for myself and um, I will eventually take this off and I will glue it to a, a block of wood not that I have one here to show you but yeah that's my plan anyway for that uh, yeah so I'm gonna leave it there you can probably see all that mushroom dust going off and hoover all this up now so that was that the birch polypore um, I actually forget the Latin for it so I'll put it up on the screen uh, yeah I'll leave it there goodbye